I don't know if you can see me. I hope you can. Okay, so hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Well, today I'm going to do a very quick video because I'm going to my boyfriend's very soon. And I thought I would just like squeeze in like a little extra video. Just because I'm very like thankful and grateful for you guys. Like recently I made a TikTok about my YouTube and that went like slightly... It didn't go viral but like I reached a lot of people so like I'm thankful if you came from TikTok. So yeah, I thought I would come back with another book video. I haven't done a book video in a while. <sighs> and yeah, I have allergies right now, so I apologise. <laughs> but yes, uh, let's get into the video. This video, I'm going to be talking about all the books that I read recently. And this is like over, over time, because I take, I take quite a long time to, to read. Well, I lied. It takes me two weeks to read a 300 page book. It takes me two weeks to read a 300 page book. <laughs> Why can I not speak? It takes me two weeks to read a 300 page book. So I was lying. Don't, don't listen to that. I mean, I don't really I take like two weeks to finish one book, but that's still good. Anyways, let's talk about the books I have read. Yeah, these are the books I've read recently. And let's talk about them. Okay, so the first book is by the lovely Lady Dakota Warren. I know she loves being called Lady D Dakota. Uh, she's also on booktube and very popular on TikTok. She talk about books. But anyway, she writes poetry. And yeah, this is a lovely, like cover like i want to have my own poetry book one day hopefully you guys will see that coming into fruition but dakota like really inspires me for like poetry and the only way i can describe her poems are like they're kind of like raw like very raw and like what about girlhood and love and heartbreak and living and existing which which is why i love dakota warren because she's a virgo and i'm a virgo <laughs> that's, that's the reason why i love her poetry and yeah i i was lucky to get this signed so thank you dakota and look at this it's just a lovely book i've annotated it as well like annotated poems that i somewhat relate to <laughs> So yeah, that is that book. Uh, if you guys want a video on how like I annotate my books, let me know, because I would do that for sure. Oops. That's my cat. Um, so the next book is also a poetry book. And um, this is by Ocean Wong. I can't say his name. Uh, this is Night Sky with Exit Wings. Hello, Mama. Meow. Meow. Come here, Mama. Come here. Meow. Anyways, this is a poetry book similar to D Dakota Warren. Like these are, they're just like so good together. The only way I can describe it is like dark and raw and just like immaculate. It's a very good poetry book, so I recommend his work. I need to read his novels as well, so I'll, I'll get round to that maybe. So the next book I actually finished very recently, I gave this a... What did I give it? I think I kept changing it from like 4 stars to 5 stars and now I don't actually know what. But this book, it didn't make me cry like um, the other Colleen Hoover book. I mean, I did cry a bit, especially at the ending, but uh, I've done a lot of annotations. I mean, I've annotated a lot of this book because it was very emotional and I still feel like connected to the characters. With this book, I had to stop reading it because I've experienced stuff like what's in the book. <laughs> yeah, this is about Lily and Atlas and 
has situation with Ryle. I recommend it. It's very good. It will make you cry though. Recently I found out that she was a problematic writer, so now I'm like trying to separate the art from the artist, but it did feel a bit romanticized. I'm like, oh whoa. Well. It's very it's it picks up on themes about domestic violence, so please like look at the trigger warnings before you read this book. Just in case, because I, I got triggered by it and yeah. It's a very good book. I can't remember what I rated it. I have no idea. Uh, and then this was actually the first book I picked up to get myself back into reading. And look, look at my annotations. I wasn't even like deep into annotating. Like, I love this book so much. I love the love hypothesis. This was, this was so good. I, I don't think I even cried. I think I probably did actually, because it was just a, an amazing book. Yeah, this is a fake dating trope in an academic setting and it's very good. I just love Olive and Adam so much. And then the last book that I recently read was Ugly Love. I read this like a while back. I don't, I'm just like so confused why I haven't... Like look at the difference of annotation here. Uh, this book is about Tate and Miles who are in a friends with benefits situation sort of like a brother's best friend thing I think, I can't remember but it was a really good book, I cried a lot and I gave it a 5 stars so I'm just confused why I didn't annotate as much as I thought I did Okay, if you're wondering why like, I look different <laughs> it's because I um it's another day, it's been like two weeks but I finished Book Lovers so I thought I would add this into this video because it's books I have recently read and loved and I love this book so I wanted to mention that and yeah I'm a big fan of Emily Henry and the short Emily Henry I would love to be on your PR list desperately because I'm obsessed with Emily Henry now and and it's a five stars and I recommend it to everyone so yeah I've read more than like however many books I said I read recently and then this is going to be my next read which is my boyfriend's like one of his favorite books and it's True and Loving in Las Vegas by Hunter S. Thompson and it's such a beautiful like all the colours are so pretty and yeah that's my next read yeah I just thought I would mention that because I finished it recently and it would make more sense adding it to this video so yeah anyways back to the video yeah, these are all the books, so I'm going to try and read more. I'm trying to read lots of classics because of my boyfriend. Bye, I'll see you next time. I'll see you next Wednesday. <laughs> I love you so much. Thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe. I love you. Okay, bye. Bye, 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 bye. Let me know what you want to see. Also, look how good my makeup is. Like, 